so glad you're here, and I know our three graduates are too. Um, I'd like to welcome you here, and I'm so happy you can all be here. We have um, three graduates this year from our classroom, Trista Brewer, Amanda Fallis, and Shelby Futrell. And I would like to just start with a little poem here that I found, and it's called Graduation is a Time. Graduation is a time for feeling very proud, for thinking lots of lovely thoughts and saying them out loud. And so I'm very proud of you for being who you are, for making something of yourself, for making it this far. I'm proud because I have been of so many things. This time's the time to say how much luck and happiness I wish and all life brings. We're going to have the eighth grade graduates stand up, please. And they have a reading for you, and it's called All I Ever Needed to Know I Learned in Kindergarten. To know about how to how to be, how to live how and what to do and how to be I learned in kindergarten. All wisdom is not learned upon graduation but in the sand piles at school. These are the things. Share everything, play fair, don't hit people, put things back where you found them, clean up your own mess, <clears throat> take things that aren't yours, say you're sorry when you hurt somebody. Wash your hands before you eat. Flush. Mm -hmm. Warm cookies and cold milk are good for you. Live a well-balanced life. Learn, learn some and think some and draw and paint and sing and dance and play and learn every day some. Taking up every afternoon. When you go out into the world, watch out for traffic, hold hands, stick together, and be aware of wonder. Think what a better world it would be if we all the whole world had cookies and milk every afternoon and then lay down with our blanket for a nap. Always remember, no matter how old you are, when you go out into it, it is best to hold hands and sit together. happens to be a part of our band here in eighth grade and she has worked up a little piece for us that she would like to play and she is a drummer a percussionist as I have learned to say <laughs> from my percussion husband anyway um, she's gonna play a little drum piece for us on her snare drum do you want to play it in the back or do you want to bring it forward I'll bring it. okay listed in your program there. We'll have Randy, Kim, and Jerry come on up, and they have a reading called A Creed to Live By. He 
these kids have been working on this for several weeks now, um, practicing reading all those words and making sure they're loud enough and presentable in front of everyone. So they've been working hard on this, trying to learn how to stand in front of ways. It is because we are different and each one of us is special. Don't give up when you still don't give up when you still have something to give. chances that we learn how to be brave. To, um, to be without the uh, dream is to be without hope. have been in the room for about three years now, some of them. I guess none of you guys have been in there longer than three, have you? I used to have them for four or five years, so they've been in the room for three years. Um, but they've been waiting for this big moment to have Mr. Kaiser and Mr. Godefroy come up here and shake their hand and give them their diploma. So can I have you two come on up? Mr. Kaiser, if you don't know, is our principal of this building in the middle school. And Mr. Godefroy, the one in the front, is our superintendent of the entire school system. So I'm glad that you two could join us today. Terista Brewer, come up and get your diploma. If you open this up and it's got the wrong name, switch it. <laughs> <laughs> Amanda Ballas. And Shelby Futrell. Good job. Now if I can have all three of you stand up. I want you to reach over there and grab your tassel if you can find it. Tassel? This thing. That thing hanging down. <laughs> grab your tassel and turn it over to the right. Switch it out over there. It's official, guys. You can go to ninth grade now. <laughs> Hold on, you're jumping the gun. We're not quite there. <laughs> okay. Oh, I got yours, Trista. I got Shelby's. <laughs> you had to do that. Okay. Thanks, guys. See what I had to live with for three years? <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> okay. Next we have Stephanie. Stephanie has been in our classroom this year. She is our new pair of pro. She's going to come up and she has a, a poem to read to our graduates called Don't Quit. And you guys, please listen very closely. Uh, yes, now, we've been through these poems, and we've discussed them in the classroom and what they all mean and that kind of stuff, too. So it's not like they're just up there reading it. We've talked and talked about what they mean. Over and over. <laughs> <laughs> over and over. <laughs> when things go wrong, as they sometimes will, when the road you are trudging seems all uphill, when the funds are low and the debts are high, and you want to smile but you have to sigh. 
When care is pressing you down a bit, rest if you must, but don't you quit. Life is odd with its twists and turns, as every one of us sometimes learns. And many a failure turns about when he might have won had he stuck it out. Don't give up through the pace seems slow. You may succeed with another blow. Success is failure turned inside out, the silver tint of the clouds of doubt. And you never can tell how close you are. It may be near when it seems so far. So stick to the fight when you are hardest hit. It's when things seem worse that you must not quit. Okay, and in closing, again, I want to thank you all for being here, and I just have um, another special poem here that I located that I want to read to you girls. Um, this is called, Each of Us Must Climb Our Separate Mountain. Each of us must climb our separate mountain to reach at last our own extended view. We can be no more than what we are, yet that is quite enough for us to do. The world is far too great for comprehension, and so we only know what we can know, but given the abilities we're given, that's still a long and weary way to go. Yet on the way, how beautiful the moments, how good it feels to have some skill or art, how wonderful to pause in awestruck wonder at what must fill the unsuspecting heart. And so we're proud of each of you today for all you've learned and all you've tried to learn. Knowledge brings the deepest satisfaction, not least because it's something that you earn. And we hadn't read that one yet, and they haven't heard that, so they paid a bit of attention this time, didn't they? <laughs> okay, ladies, stand up, and I'm going to let you march out the same way you came in. Shopping. We normally do. You guys have seen it so many times I knew you could make it.